Hello world, it is Fancy Ellie here tonight on Transcending Origins. Um, this week's topic is to talk about regrets, um, specifically, let me just kind of make sure I have everything correctly here, um, just in regards to like your transitioning in your personal life or anything, um, and how do you deal with it and how has it affected you? Um, I don't really have any regrets per se, um, just because everything is kind of seemingly in my life kind of always seemed to happen for a reason or what, I mean... There hasn't really been anything that's, like, I've looked back on and be like, wow, I don't understand why that happened that way. I always seem to kind of have, like, everything seems to provide enough insight in my life where I'm kind of like, okay, I guess that makes sense. Like, um, like, I could say, like, I wish I would have started, like, transitioning earlier in my life. But I think about it, and it's like, if I were to tra start transitioning earlier, say, like, junior high or something like that, um, I would very have not, likely not met the people that have been so impactful on me today. Who knows, I might have met other people, but that's, at that point it's not really regret, it's just kind of like thinking about like all the possibilities that could have happened. And so I'm not really regretful about that. Um, as for um, other things that I could possibly be regretful about that I'm not, um, I guess, I don't know, like... I, I mean, I, with my college life and everything, I, I had pursued, like, physics and I pursued chemistry, and they were all kind of, like, I guess, like, I don't know, failed pursuits in the sense of, like, I didn't actually, like, complete the pursuit of them. Um, however, I don't know, it's like, I mean, like, I wound up in a really good degree, and I think something that's really going to, like, benefit me in the long run. So it's like, I don't really regret any of that. There's a lot of, like, things that I could regret. But I always kind of look for the insight and what's really available there. Because there's always insight in why things happen the way that they do. Like, I mean, even if like, you had somebody that, like, died on you. That, you know, um, like, you really wanted to tell them something, like, before they died. And you didn't get a chance to. It's like, would you regret that? Well, in my personal perspective, I really, I don't see a need to feel regret for it because it's like, and actually, I've been thinking about this, too. It's like, um, I'm probably one of the least regretful people I know. Because, like, I'm very much kind of in the moment and working with what is. Because to focus on, like, the past, the would-haves, the should-haves, the could-haves, it doesn't help you. I mean, it doesn't really benefit you. It's like, it's outside of, like, you know, knowing what is the correct, better path for you to go down in the future, learning from your mistakes is a little different than regrets. Regrets are, like, the constant, like mourning of the past, you know, about, like, what could have been, and those possibilities. You, can't, you shouldn't mourn possibilities. If you mourn possibilities, you could be, like, regretful for every little damn thing. It's like, there's times where I kind of, like, think, I mean, like, even with, like, freaking like, clothing shopping or something like that, it's like, where, I, oh, I really want to get this, but should I get this, should I not get it? And, like, I come back, like, a week later, like, determined to go get it, and it's already gone from the store, and I can't really find it anywhere else. It's like, oh, I could have regretted that, but you know what? It just kind of lets me save some more money for, like, future intents of whatever I want to get. And most of the time I don't really have free money to go clothing shopping anyway, so it probably would have been money that I didn't really have to spend. It's like there's, I mean, this really is the kind of like the same with, like, everything in my life. It's, I don't really regret anything because there's always... I'm not going to base my life on possibilities. I'm going to base my life on determination and how closely do I come to my determinations. Like, if I really, really, really actively pursue something and it doesn't succeed, I'm feeling a little bit frustrated, but I try to look at, like, why it didn't and not so much like, oh, drat, it didn't, you know, life sucks. It's like, no, how do we make this work for future and why did it happen the way it did? It's a matter of practicality and a matter of sanity because you can really kind of, like, go insane if you don't really follow through. And so, I guess that's my perspective on regrets and everything in regards to, like, regrets and transitioning, because they really, they really shouldn't be, and if you're feeling regrets, I mean, look at what you've accomplished otherwise, you know? Like, if you're, like, 60 years old and you finally started transitioning, you really wish you would have done it when you were younger, you probably have accomplished a whole lot of other stuff in those, like, you know, many years since, like, you know, the, you could have done it. And those things are precious. Those things should be cherished, and they shouldn't be, like, mourned over. Uh, you should just keep on looking forward. And I think that's kind of how you can really keep sane and not feeling regrets. So, um, that's it for tonight. Good night, YouTube.